Cheers, guys. Mm. You can tell I'm a little sweaty. A lot sweaty. It's hot, it's humid here. We're not in California. We are in the Finger Lakes of New York. If you guys have followed the channel for the past year, past three, five, seven years, you probably know that I'm from New York. I grew up in the Finger Lakes first 25 years of my life and ever since moving away. Typically, I'll come back in the spring, not only visit family, catch up, but go fishing. Take advantage of the phenomenal fishing here in the Finger Lakes. If you guys saw this past spring's trip, it was an extended stay here in New York. Got a bunch of fishing in and man, it was amazing catching really big largemouth, big old brownie. This time around is a little different. We're here in August. I actually have not come here in the month of August nor fished here in the month of August. I want to say for like eight or nine years. I'm sure the fishing is still going to be good. Maybe not as good, but it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a full blown summer pattern. So I'm hoping for frogs, some top water action, some punching, who knows. But yeah, this trip around, not as long, only here for about a week or so. And being very fortunate to have essentially everything I need here, including a kayak to go out and do some fishing. I mean, the only thing I had to do, catching a flight yesterday flying all day from San Francisco to Detroit and then Detroit to Rochester the only thing I really needed to bring was my big pelican case with reels my deck boots camera mount camera stuff terminal box and a few baits so really not much to bring you know these videos I usually give you a tour of the kayak the whole process of getting home setting up I'm not gonna do that this time around if you guys want to see that you guys can reference those spring videos where we actually did finally pick up the Titan X 10.5 and outfit it complete with the works so I won't show you all that stuff you guys know this boat probably but I figured I'd do a quick unboxing because I always got to do a tackle order before you head home especially because this time around the bite the baits the presentations the techniques probably be a lot different than the springtime so I had to make a tackle order and then I'll give you a super duper quick run through of what we've got going on what other work I have to do tonight to get ready for fishing the remainder of this trip so we got a box we got a box let's uh open her up ah oh, the goods Little sneak peek of goodness right there, guys. All right, what do we got here? Tell you what, I'm going to be silly and show you what we've got and throw it on the ground. And I'll clean it up later. Uh, got a bunch of these guys, five of these guys. What I'm really hoping, as far as a bite goes here, is a frog bite. So we've got some Swamp Lords. Trying this color, a little different here. I think this is the color Potomac. I don't know, I've seen some really, really pretty pumpkin seeds around this area specifically. Figured, why not try a little bit different color? Got a bunch of these guys in this color just to mix it up. Uh, frogs, more frogs, I want to say. Oh. And we do have some hopping frogs, kind of similar to the bluegill idea, trying to match the hatch. And this is in the perch color. I don't know, who knows? We'll see what that's like. We've got, got some buzzing toads. So I bought some frog hooks. I don't know, might try it. If they're really hitting the frog and maybe even the buzz bait, might tie on a toad to the frog hook, weave this presentation and skitter it across the grass mats. So a couple of those. Got some jaywalkers in the perfect ghost color. Really, really hoping and banking on a topwater bite here. So I've got some of those guys. Oh, these are all the same in here as this. And that is a swim jig. New confidence bait for me this year. So we got some swim jig stuff, swim jigs. We've got the meaty chunk trailers, a couple different colors, green pumpkin, black and blue. Kind of see these trailers. Um, picked up a pack, actually a couple packs of the power worms. These are the seven inch. So black and blue, green pumpkin, probably Texas rig that. Speaking of top water or touching back on top water, got some HD bluegill choppos. I think like half the rods I bring out with me probably be top water rods. Uh, more worms, more hooks, and the last thing in here whew, is a or are a bunch of crash cross. Other than frogging, the other thing I'm banking on or assuming, and you know, assumptions are assumptions, maybe they won't be doing any of this stuff and I won't need a lot of it, but I'm guessing, I'm hoping, it's been hot here, there's gonna be a big plethora of grass no matter where we go and that happens anywhere i fish in the country that usually means top water specifically frogs get them to come out of the grass or you go to them in the grass and figured these crash craws would be a perfect little punch bait kind of represents a couple of things not only does it represent a crawfish but i think it has like a profile of a bluegill i mean if you look at it from the side kind of has that bluegill profile. Good little bit of meat there to get that hook in there. And uh, yeah, I got some crash craws for the punch rig. So those are the baits that I ordered. Of course, got a bunch of stuff still here. I'll take you guys with me now. I'll give you a quick run through of what we're working with. I'm hot, I need a drink. Mm. 
So here she is, Titan X 10.5. Got these guys just as I unboxed them. We'll throw those right there. So I brought the reels home. Of course, I don't have double reels here, so I just brought the reels home with me. I do have extra rods here, so I got to put those reels on the rods. I've got a small graph, Hummingbird Helix 7. Got a little Bioino battery in there. You don't need much juice for a 7 inch graph. What else do we have? I did bring this stuff home. Got more. You guys know I've been really digging this bait, the weedless cull shad. Probably rig one of these guys up, see if they're in a bait chasing mood. Those are those little toads I was talking about for the frog hooks, the beaten paddle frog. More cull sheds, crash craws. I brought this guy home. Brought a couple of those black buzz baits that we're doing really good out on the Delta. Was running low on spinner baits here in New York, so I brought some more Bobby D spinner baits. I uh, got the Munchy Gill, sick little swim bait, kind of like a little waker. Figured I'd give this a shot this time around. It is summer, so I got the little Munchy Gill there and brought some extra zero fade braid from P Line. I'm going back to the boat. I mean, you guys have seen this before. Titan X 10.5, keeping it real simple. So I got the junk drawer, there's the terminal box. I got a little pouch right here to store some pliers and scissors. Got a throttle control with the new port on the back. Actually, the new port it's right here just transport it like that uh, i've got it with a 24 volt 50 bioino battery right there and the black pack full of randomness that i'll have to fill up with baits and such so yeah just a quick overview and i always have to emphasize this because when i'm in new york it's really important to me is keeping things as simple as i can got the u-haul truck this guy is pretty much fully rigged slap on the motor paddle pedal drive rods and of course the most important factor is we're fishing in the finger lakes it's cool here i enjoy it here this is where i grew up fishing really grateful that i get to come back and experience it not just in the spring but this time around as well Let's see it's about eight o'clock here i am going to continue sweating getting rods rigged baits ready any last minute touches to the kayak once again a shorter trip in New York probably only going to be able to get a couple trips out here but as always with every trip no matter what happens no matter where I am no matter how good or bad it turns out I'm taking you guys with me fishing in New York the Finger Lakes I'm excited and uh, see you guys tomorrow morning for our first day of fishing out here in New York Good morning. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The trusty canal. Who would have guessed that I come here first? It's kind of a tradition. Every time I'm in New York, I think I always hit up this canal way for my first uh, trip out each time I'm here. Yeah, said it before. One of the first places I kayak fished back in 2012. Good little spot. What's interesting, and I've talked about this before, but you can see over there, there's the lock system. So there's a couple of locks throughout this canal. And uh, I've learned over the years, you can even see it right now. You can see, look, this water. You can see it's moving. So the locks must be open right now. And that water up here is slowing down through those locks. And I say that because a lot of these canal fish get used to that, that current, and they'll set up just like kind of how delta fish set up. They'll set themselves up based on that current, and they're uh, a lot more active when it's moving. I think we're ready to rock and roll. Usually I don't launch here. I usually launch the other side of the canal, but I eh, figured I'd mix it up today. Let's see if I can do this without getting wet. place to stop get started well I think you guys know what we're starting with
Haven't had a bite yet. I'm throwing just about everything I've had on deck. Hmm. Might just take some time to run into the right stretch of fish. I'm not sure. Welcoming me back. Little frog love. Alright, maybe it's just finding the right stretch. <laughs> Not a big one, but frogfish. Ooh, what is that? Oh my god, I've never seen that before. He ate a crawfish and it's coming through his body. Oh my gosh. Good bud. Interesting uh, first catch of the trip. Way up there. I don't know, it's 7.44. Took over an hour to get bit. Maybe just about an hour. Starting to kind of think I might have to pack up and leave, but like I said, this canal, from what I remember, this time of year is kind of like the Delta. It has its little stretches of fish and then stretches without fish. Sometimes they're way up on the bank. Sometimes they're sitting on the grass line a little deeper. Just never know. That one was up shallow, around some grass, overhanging tree, some shade. So I don't think that's coincidence. I don't think that's the only way to catch them. But I think that's a good sign that we can probably get some frogfish going today. Which, again, was the hope. Ooh, they are way up there, dude. I don't know if you can tell, but right here's the grass line and then it goes up into like two foot and then up on the bank is probably one foot, if that. Kind of surprising in a way they'd be that shallow with all this grass around, but they are canal fish. It's a little different around here. That's actually not a half bad one. Jeez. Not a bad one at all. You get second chances on the canal. These fish see a frog or whatever they think it is and they don't want to miss out. All right, Potomac Blue. Neat little color. That's actually a pretty good canal fish right there. I don't know, I think the fish in general in New York are growing. Sir, whoa, dude, that was a big one that waked on it. Oh, that was a monster that waked on it. big one. Holy smokes. That was a big one. It's been a minute since I've had a bite. catch them way up there dude they've been getting it good too finally 
definitely been playing with some other baits. Just not getting a whole ton of bites, but bites I've had, all three of them. Up shallow with a frog, it's gotta cover water. Man, I, mean, I can literally see up there some of the clean spots in the sunlight, and it is maybe a foot. They just must be tight to maybe some of that wood or some of the shade. It's kind of lurking around, I don't know. I'll keep going with it. Bed one there. Oh. Oh, a little guy, come get it. <laughs> Second chance. a hint though something other than shallow frog fish maybe there's some fish out on the grass line I've been fishing the grass line but not very much with a worm most 11 o'clock it's kind of been tough we had some bites but nothing consistent up shallow man I mean that's just where they have to be jeez I keep saying it I've tried <laughs> deeper on the grass line and nothing other than that one little worm fish actually had one come up through the grass that's cool a lot of the fish that have ate the frog today have been in little shade pockets Couldn't catch up to him. Alrighty. Wow. I'm really surprised I didn't lose you. They're eating the frog pretty good today, though. And the bites we've had, they're smelting it. That's number five. All five. Way up there. There's a good one. Man. Oh, baby. Thank you, sir. Alrighty. It's interesting. I went through that area earlier with the frog and didn't get bit. I don't know. It's almost like they're setting up a little different now and they're coming up through the grass. Alrighty folks, it is about 12.30. Got a nice little six hour session to break our New York trip in. And uh, yeah, the old trusty canal, definitely a little bit tougher this time around. Like I said, I usually come here in the spring and usually the numbers are pretty good. Not as many numbers today, but still got on some fish. You know, we started out this morning around 6.30, actually right here by the locks. And like I said, it's an interesting place because when it opens, it generates current through this little canal. And I do believe that these fish can feel that current and they get used to that current. So they just set up and certain ways to feed it was uh, 
uh, open and closing all day. There was definitely some boats coming on through, but to start off, it was kind of slow. I saw exactly what I wanted to see in the canal. Saw some mats, some grass up shallow, some overhanging trees touching down. And that's a lot of what I targeted to start specifically with the frog, but didn't get any bites. I think we want a couple of hours. I mean, I threw the frog, threw some moving stuff. I did some punching, even picked up the worm, but no signs, no clues. Finally, one little stretch, had some fish, threw the frog way up shallow, got bit, quality fish on the frog, nice canal fish. I think maybe 10 minutes later, got another bite up shallow. Thought, okay, maybe this is a pattern. Both of those bites, they were right up against the bank in probably less than a foot of water. Ran with that for a while. And you know what was interesting? I saw a ton of bait fish today. Not even exactly sure what they were. They almost had like a little bit of a bluish tint to them. And I'm almost wondering if maybe the reason a lot of my frog fish today were stuck pretty good was because of the coloration of the frog. I mean, it had a white belly, but also had some of that blue color to it. So I don't know, just one of those interesting things you kind of think about after the fact. But that frog really was all we could get bit on. I think I caught one small one on a worm, but I covered a ton of water. I went pretty much four miles up this canal and then back and had one big one roll on it at some point. But from what I gathered today, a lot of the fish were way up shallow. I mean, there's a defined grass line on each side of the canal and sometimes they can position themselves on that grass line, but I wasn't getting anything on that. I didn't even see fish on that. And usually you can see fish on that grass line when they're there. So I think either these fish have left, maybe gone out to the main lake or the ones that are still here are way up shallow in the shade. As mentioned, not a whole ton of bites, but everything on the frog pretty much a lot of fun throwing it up really shallow i mean they were smoking it i think we had maybe seven or eight bites and landed six of them so pretty good hookup ratio just a lot of fun i mean i said that i came here in hopes of maybe getting on some top water some frogfish canal once again doesn't disappoint although not as many numbers as in the spring but i will certainly take it fun day out there fishing a place as i've mentioned many times that i really where i did a lot of my kayak fishing back in 2012 2013 a lot of fun out there love me some frog action but guys that is going to do it for today's video first trip out in new york it's just tradition to come here fish it a little while i probably won't touch it again the rest of the trip maybe try cayuga some of the bigger lakes around us but i'm excited even though it's hot it's humid in new york the fishing isn't as crazy as the spring there's still some fun fishing to be had and i'm looking forward to it and sharing it with you guys so as always i appreciate you guys watching for coming along on this new york adventure and i'll see you guys in the next one